star size reduction and background smoothing are iterative tools and it can take some time to apply them to a large color image. So let's look at how a preview image would be used to set the parameters of tools. Not only star size reduction and background smoothing, but any of the iterative tools like uh, deconvolution or restoration, the same technique would be used to make a preview image to adjust parameters and then apply it to the main image. So let's start with star size reduction. Uh, okay, I've got a large color image here and I want to make a preview image. So I'm going to left click on uh, the copy portion toolbar button and then just left click and pull out a preview image. And you may want to do this a couple different areas of an image. I'll turn copy off. Now star size is actually, uh, there's two varieties. There's one on the point menu, which is a uh, single pass star size and halo reduction, and it's, uh, it's aggressive. It can uh, quickly reduce the size of stars, and actually you don't even need a, a preview menu to use with, with this. Um, if it's over applied, you get black rings. Of course, that's probably true of any uh, reduction filter. But it's a, it's a one pass aggressive star size reduction. Uh, and it's, it's useful at times. Now, let me back off this uh, star size reduction. So now we're back to the original preview image. And let's look at a softer, slower reduction. It gives you a little more control, really. And that's on the local menu, and this is the iterative star size reduction. Now, uh, the window size defines the strength of the reduction. The larger the window, uh, the stronger the reduction. And for a given window size, the strength, the higher the number, the stronger the uh, uh, reduction. So if you set the strength down to 1 for a 9 by 9 window, it'll be very soft. The default is 9 since it's a 9 by 9 window, and that's very useful for a, for a wide range of images. Okay, let's apply it to this preview image. Now I've got some choices here. I could uh, apply it to the red, green, and blue data because that's the toolbar button that's pressed, and I can try that. Uh, Let's do three iterations. And if I use the undo button, I can flip back and forth. And I think you can see that uh, the change is subtle, but still it's, if you watch the size of this star, it's still, uh, it's still obvious, but much finer than the, uh, the more aggressive star size reduction. Okay, so that's reduced, and this isn't. Um, you might notice that there's a red ring around these stars, and it'd be kind of nice to reduce that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, throw away the application of star size to uh, the red, green, and blue data on this preview. And the way I do that is I just come up here and delete the command. So now I'm back to the original image, and uh, I'm going to depress the red channel toolbar button. And let's apply, say, four iterations to just the red channel. And that'll take that red fringe off. See how that red fringe is gone? That's a nice application. Um, I threw away the previous star size applied to the red, green, and blue on the process list because I want to apply not only star size reduction but which I already have here to the red data but then I want to do a background smoothing and then I want to take all of these commands and apply them to this image so that's why I want to keep this process history list with the preview image to be exactly the commands that I want to use Okay, so I've reduced the, uh, the red fringe with, what, four iterations applied to the red channel. 
Now let's smooth it. Background smoothing is uh, on the local menu. The top part, well that defines which level to smooth. The finest sand-like features uh, is currently set to zero by default. I might increase that to around 30. A little bit larger, the fine resolution level is at 40 and by default medium is set to 20. It's wavelet based. Uh, I need to define the uh, luminance and noise level to apply this smoothing to up here. Well, the easiest way to do that is just check the select from image. I'm going to apply it to the background because I want to really get rid of this spotted black pattern through here. Uh, if it were a mid-tone or a highlight, like maybe areas uh, oh, up around in here, I'd choose this option. But normally you're smoothing out the background because the mid-tone and highlights had a lot of exposure and they're usually pretty smooth to begin with. Okay, so select from image. I want to get rid of this pattern. I'm going to I'll just select it right there. Now, the previous command, the star size, was applied to just the red. And if I don't change this red toolbar button, I'm going to smooth just the red data. And that's not what I really want to do. I want to smooth all the data, red, green, and blue, equally. Okay, so I'll depress the RGB toolbar button. I've got my parameters set. Well, let's try uh, three iterations. Um, when an iterative function is applied against the image, the border changes that, that mustard color to show that that image is currently being uh, used by the iterative operation. And some of these operations, if you do 100, 100 iterations, it could take 10 minutes. So you may have an Im image tied up for 10 minutes, and while that's running, that mustard color is an indicator, and you can go on and do something else in, you know, while this uh, iterative function's running in the background. Okay, so we've applied three iterations, and now let's do the undo and redo. There's before and after. But as I flip between before and after, watch the, the detail, watch the star shapes. See, there's really no change to the star shapes. Maybe a little bit here, and in that case, I could either uh, reduce the iteration for just a slightly uh, more uh, subtle effect. Let's try uh, two of them. There, that's reduced the pattern. Let's take a look at the stars. There's very little, almost no effect to the stars whatsoever. Just the very poorly defined stars here show a little difference. At any rate, once you get it to where, uh, where you want the smoothing, uh, what you can do now is to get back to this main uh, large size image is keep your preview image open and just go to its process window and select the commands that you want to use right click copy them click on the image you want to apply to and paste it at the end and now you can close the preview because you've got the two commands here but see they're indicated in red and these little squigglies mean they haven't been applied yet this greater than greater than that's the last uh, command that was applied to this image so I'm going to press all commands and it'll run star size with the parameters I just set with the preview image. When that's finished, it'll do the background smoothing. And you can get a cup of coffee and come back in a few minutes, and it'll be done.